Walt Jagandit, and I'm here to teach you about a rolling hitch. It's a simple knot. What you're going to do is you're going to lay it over the top. It's used for tying to something that is stationary. It might be another line. It might be a, a branch like I'm doing this. It might be a log. But it, it's made, you do two wraps around, you cross it over, and it comes back up through. This is, this is your, your rolling hitch. And the reason for this is I have two wraps around and it will keep that, if, there's, if it's only a clove hitch here and it's a steady pull down, the line will move down the branch. But with the two, with the two lines on this one side, it will keep it from, it will keep it from going. If the log rolls around, it will still hold, whereas the clove hitch will, will tend to come loose. So this is good for something that has some movement to it or if there's a load going in one direction that from, from coming undone. I'll show you one more time. Rolling hitch. It's also called an airplane hitch. It's used for tying down airplanes. Here you go. Here, wrap it around two times. Once, twice. Come up, through. So you have two wraps going this direction and one wrap going that direction. Your main line is coming right in the center of those two lines so you know you have it correct when you have it with this one is on this side this one is on this side this is my main line and it's it's a good for something that's moving all the time it's also good if you have a load that's going down the pole it will not slip down the pole or if you have it it's tied to another rope and it's going off in a direction it, it's a it's a hold it's a good holding knot for when you have a load going in one direction thank you very much for watching